wear at Victor and Roth and there's a beautiful, romantic, gothic elegance for the look with the makeup. We've done almost like an Edwardian eye and we've done a very strong kind of burgundy fuchsia mouth. A lot of gloss, paled out skin and a little pink shimmer on the cheekbones. Today at Vitor and Rolf, what we are doing is uh, dark glamour. So two different textures, one in the top, is they're going to have the finger waves, and then really tight on the side, straight in the back, and again waves. It sounds all complicated, but it's very glamorous, it's very polished. It has a rigor and a sense of the high luxury. So amazing with the dark burgundy lips, very intense. I love the makeup on the hair, it's very glamorous, very nice. We love a sense of mystery in everything we do. That's why we thought of uh, nighttime and of the moon. And the idea of the shadows is really to emphasize um, the way we work. We work very much on silhouette because we have a background in couture. This was a very um, clear way we thought of showing that. I'm wearing two outfits, one is full length, trousers and a shirt, all in the one print, it's very cool. We started out with a, a sequence of uh, outfits that were all very fluid, which is for us kind of new. Sort of like very luxurious pajama suits with fur prints. under the moonlight you would actually expect things to turn out more goth slash neo-romantic what actually happened was a very Helmut Newton-esque meeting under the moonlight in a dark place with an elegant slightly frivole lady something quite ambiguous. There was a feeling of the Saint Laurent beauties of the 70s. There was a feeling of the Angelica Houston's of the day, the Jerry Halls, and at the same time, it was all very nicely revisited modern fabrics, but female sex appeal is eternal, and that's what we got through there. black and grey shirt and some shorts, a uh, tight and a very nice and high high heels.
we work on the fur a bit like uh, sculpture because we, we're always looking for attention and for a certain contrast. So fur, obviously, it's, it's an animal uh, and it's, uh, it's fluffy, but then to make it look really hard and sculptural, we did that by shaving. It's so amazing, like the structure of it and the way they made sure they cut the fur. So it's like, it has this illusion of this asymmetry. So it's quite a piece of art. The evening wear uh, was very body conscious and we thought of a way how to express this feeling of fur and of hair and of something slightly animal in an evening dress. So this is how we came to work on embroidery and we, we love the idea to combine transparency with uh, opaque and with embroidery so that it's almost like skin, dress and decoration blend into one. I'm wearing this almost seafood dress, very sexy and you know, romantic. Victor are very much, they, they have the couture mentality and I think we needed to follow their own creativity for express themselves, this is the best way and I think today on the show they really express unbelievable the sexiness of who they are. And then there was also a lot of trompe l'oeil uh, for embroidery in, in gold and colors, in black, in black and silver. I'm wearing a long evening dress. It has kind of a um, needle like all around it. It's gorgeous. They gave a whole performance, which is very important in fashion because I think it's about all of the elements, not just the fabrics. There was everything that was sort of the modern codes of luxury and seduction for a woman without being vulgar, frivolous or too suggestive. It was sort of what you see is what you get and what you don't see is left to your imagination, your fantasy and that's what a sexy and elegant woman should be doing. We started with a slight Victorian mood and then to make that very sensual uh, was very important to us. Make it very romantic but with a dark edge. It's always important that uh but they're strong. So sensual, romantic, very feminine, but strong. Yeah.